everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about using Meet with Google Classroom. Meet has nicely integrated with Google Classroom, and by using it through the classroom, you're able to gen generate a unique code that is for that individual class. So if you have more than one class, you would do it for each of your classrooms. You can choose to make it visible for the students or you can hide it when they you don't want them on it. Um, it's displayed in two different places that make it really easy for students to find. And you can use that same link over and over so that you have it available for your students. And then the other nice thing about this one is that your students cannot join it. They cannot get into that meet until you are in that meet. So let's take a look at what this looks like and how it works. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and open one of your classrooms. And when you open the classroom, you're going to see your normal heading up here. And then right here where it says meet link, it says generate meet link. All you have to do is click that button and it's going to let you generate the link. So it's putting it in there for me right now. And then I get to choose whether or not I want it to be visible to students. If I don't want them to see it right now, all I have to do is toggle that off and the kids won't be able to see it. In this place, you also have an opportunity to copy this link. This is a great feature if you're going to be using the same Meet to maybe invite a teacher from another class or if you have a guest speaker or someone else that you'd like to include in it who's not in your Google Classroom. So once you've toggled it on or off, you're gonna go ahead and click Save and you're gonna have that Google Meet link available for you and your students, both on the front page and at the top of the classwork page. So that button right there will allow you to start a meeting with your students and they'll be able to join it from either place, the classwork page or from the stream. If you decide later that you wanna to toggle off the meet so that the students can't see it, you can go in through settings and you can scroll down and right here, here's your Google code where you can copy it, or if you have a problem, if somebody has inadvertently shared it with someone else, um, you can reset it here. But remember, when you reset it, the other one won't be accessible anymore. So here's where you can toggle, toggle it on and off. That's in your settings. Again, once you make any changes, be sure to click Save. One of the things that teachers don't always understand is what the students see on the other side. So we're going to go back and take a look. So if a student tries to get into the meet before the teacher is in, they will get this message that says they cannot do that. If they're joining a meeting from the classroom, they have to wait for their teacher to join in, and then they can either reload this page, or if they close this page, they can relaunch it from their Google Classroom. The other thing the student needs to know is that the first time that they join, it's going to ask if they can use the microphone and camera. They have to be allowed to do that. So they've got to click allow, use your microphone and use your camera. That should only come up the first time they log in. They must also be in their redlandschools.net account. That's the only way that they can access that. They can see that the teacher is in the call and then they'll be able to join the call at that point. When the students leave the meeting, this is the message that they're going to get. So this is the only warning I want to give you about leaving the meeting, waiting till all of your students are out, or you can remove them, which is something we'll show you in a different video. But when all your students are out, you want to wait a little bit. And then when you log out, the students actually have about 30 seconds before the program catches up. So if they were to click rejoin in that 30 seconds, they might actually get back in. So my recommendation is if you're really concerned about them doing that after about a minute after you've logged out, log back in and see if any of them went back in. Otherwise, they shouldn't be able to get in after that. They'll go back and get that original message. That's how it works. Super easy. Enjoy.